Hey, Google. So guys, I just got back from riding this very second. I'm still with the gear on. My dog is welcoming me. My dog is welcoming me. Hey, Google. Yeah, hello. Hello there. Anyway, uh, the guys told me during the ride that my signal lights when in running mode are not bright enough. So as you can see right now, you can see the running lights, one and two. I mean, the signal lights are not as bright as my running light. You can see my uh, signal lights, my turn signals are not as bright as my tail uh, running light. That's an easy fix with the triple, the custom dynamic triple play. I'll show you exactly how it's done, how it's how you tinker uh, with it and change the modes, change the brightness. <laughs> So let me get organized and switch over to my normal clothes and I'll start the work right now. So the Custom Dynamics has a pretty uh, easy fix for that. You need to get into the module itself. It's under the seat, so let's take the seat off. Uh, start with the backrest, of course. This is the module itself. I taped it up with uh, electrical tape. Uncover it and go into the programming mode. I'll show you right now a little screenshot over here of the actual manual that Custom Dynamics put out. Go through the sequence and I'll show you what it looks like after. This is where the magic happens. See this uh, toggle right here? Toggle switch, uh, positioning zero to nine, and these two switches on the top, on and off. According to the manual, uh, the manual actually shows exactly what you need to do. I'm gonna put them both, uh, these switches on to, I'm gonna switch them to off, then start the bike. Guys, I'm no genius. I work exactly, exactly with uh, with uh, the manual. So the rotary is this. Then these two switches, see one and two, are these two right there. Switch them to off. Then number two, it's the one on the right, is going to go on, off, then on. And then number one, you can do the same thing. On, off, on, and that should reset everything. Then I'll work with uh, this rotary switch and bring it up to the brightest. And when I'm happy with uh, the max uh, brightness or whatever brightness I have and I want for it to match my taillight, I click the brake, I hit the brake for like two seconds and that locks in the latest uh, or the last brightness. I'll try it out after I play it around with it. I'll tell you the truth, it's kind of difficult to see the difference uh, during the day. And now after I've uh, run the module and set it to the highest, the brightest, I don't know, it's hard to tell it's flickering from uh, on the camera. I have to wait uh, to see it at night. But now it's supposed to be the brightest and match that bright, bright red tail light that I have. So I'll try it at night as well, because uh, right now I don't see a big difference. That's to tell you the truth. I'm unable to get it really to, to, to rise to bright, bright, bright levels of uh, red. So I'm going to try it at night, see if there's a difference. The point is, see, I, I was thinking that I can actually get to, uh, my tail lights, my uh, signal lights to be as bright as they are right now when uh when they're flashing i was hoping i can get to that uh, level so that's it guys that's how easy it is with this module i'm not getting the results uh i'm looking for i think it has to do with the fact that my turn signal leds are not as bright as my tail light so i don't know if it's a problem with the module i don't think it is 
I'm thinking of maybe switching back to my old uh, turn signals that I had that were LEDs really, really bright. So I'll consider that. But working the, the triple play was simple and easy as you've seen. Follow the manual, follow the instructions and choose any type of style of uh, braking light you want. Because as you've seen, I change it to like four seconds of fast strobes and then it goes to constant uh, bright brake light has eight different options check out the manual how it's done choose the one you like okay so before i say goodbye i'm just gonna grab a shot when it's dark so you can see before and after the change okay guys i couldn't wait for the evening so i went uh, i took the bike into the garage and over here where there's no sunlight you can definitely see that it's very very much uh closer very much brighter the two uh signal lights are now brighter than before and very much close uh, to the tail light uh, brightness. Tail light is like a crazy bright. There's no way I can get uh, to it, uh, you know, for them to match completely. So it's definitely the two signal lights that are not as bright as this, is, as this crazy center tail light. And that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this short yet interesting video if you want to watch more of this uh please go ahead and click that subscribe make sure you hit that bell so you get notifications every time i drop a new video till the next video from holy shift i'm sandy peace out